Josh here from Hostile Conditioning. How you guys doing? Uh, got a really cool workout I'm going to put together today. Uh, I put it together, we're going to run through it, and I'm calling it the Hostile 2013 Challenge. And what it is, it's going to be a, a big workout that's going to encompass all the facets of the training we've been doing over the last year. So kettlebell training, body weight training, uh, conditioning, mobility training, and cardio. Putting it all together and getting it done, and it's for time. And uh, I want this is a challenge I'm going to put forward for everyone out there to do, and, and definitely you know send us in your results and comments and stuff. But for my clients here at Hostile Conditioning, it's something that I'm going to put out there for them to do, and we're going to, they're going to pick a certain time and a certain date to come and do it, so that they have the facility uh, to themselves pretty much, so they can turn around and do the workout and get it done and not have any bottlenecks. So if I have two or three people doing it, and there's a couple of points where they have to use the same equipment, I don't want to slow down their time based on that. All right. So if we look at it, basically what it's going to be. It's um, 300 swings. The girls are going to be using a 16 kilo kettlebell. The guys are going to be using a 24 kilo kettlebell. Then we go into 50 burpees. Then we go into rowing 1500 meters, 25 chin ups, and then we're going to finish with a 5K run. Now we're going to use a treadmill for the 5K run just because it's winter time and it's a little messy out and stuff. And I don't want it to be too different from day to day depending on the person does it. So the treadmill is what they're going to use. So it's going to give them that common um, you know, condition for them to do it on overall. What's going to be important here is that people focus on their quality and on their technique. They're going to get tired, they're going to get dirty. Some exercises, you know, some people are built, you know, are better at cardio than they are at strength and, and vice versa. So the challenge will definitely be working on your weaker area. So for me, you know, the, uh, the burpees are going to be challenging because, you know, it's my size overall uh, and agility. But then the running, the running, you know, I've run a couple of 5Ks this year. So running this 5K is doable, but it's going to be challenging, especially at the end of the workout overall. Uh, in the burpees, what I'm looking for is I'm not worried about the jump in between. If people want to throw that in, that's great. But I want to see is when you're at the bottom, that you hit that push up and get back up because I want to work that whole strength component overall. And and like I said, there's going to be some workouts, that, uh, some parts of the workout that are going to be really challenging. We got to get through it. And there's going to be some parts of the workout that are going to be you know play to our strengths. We're going to get through it quicker and stuff. So I mean, it's going to even out for everybody based on where they're at. And really, what this is, like I said, is a chance to see you know, how much we've improved overall, uh, overall through all our training. So, you know, where our cardio's improved, where our strengths improve, and, and, and this is where we're gonna, you know, it's a good test to see overall. Like I said, it's for time, but I really don't want people trying to race through it and using sloppy form. I want quality, I want people to remember, you know, at hostile conditioning, it's about technique and focus. During today, I'm gonna do the workout today. And based on that, I'm going to be shooting some segments of it as I do the exercises to show you what I go through. And you'll see some exercises I perform really well, some exercises I struggle with, like everyone else, right? And, and again, it's real. This isn't, you know, I'm not a superstar athlete that's doing it and just trying to tell the average person you can do it, no problem. I am that average person in certain areas where I have to go through that struggle. And that's really what I want people to see. And if a dude like me can do it, then anybody can do it. What I want to see happen is when you guys do do this, especially those of you out there following us on the internet, you know, shoot some video as you're doing it, uh, you know, and then give us your feedback. Where was it hard? Where was it challenging? You know, and, and coming out of it, what do you see? Hey, this is where I need to focus a bit more on my training. So it's really a cool snapshot to see where you're at and, and where you can go with your training overall. So uh, I'm excited to do it. I'm a little nervous, you know, putting it all together. This is probably one of the biggest workouts I've ever done, incorporating all the different levels of training. Uh, so uh, I've got the facility to myself. It's December 26th. It's Boxing Day. So uh, I did that on purpose because I don't want any interruptions. I want to be able to be in my own head and, and get through it and uh, you know, be able to, to just put an honest effort and not worry about the phone or a client or anyone coming in. This is you, know, you against you and, and this is what I really want to do. So I'll be coming back in and out with some video um, of the different exercises that I'm doing. I'm not going to put the video for the whole thing. Listen, you know, if this takes me an hour and a half, an hour, 45 minutes, it'd be a long video for you guys to watch at home. You know, a bit of an epic, if you will. And uh, you know, that's not the point of this. The point is, is to show you some snapshots, how I'm doing it, what I'm doing, and how I'm, you know, you'll see as I cut into the different, after the different exercises, you know, I'm gonna get mangled and, and that's what I wanna show. And I want people to realize that that's what it's about. It's about getting through it and getting it done. So uh, like I said, it's gonna be pretty exciting. It's gonna be awesome. And I look forward to hearing your feedback and seeing what happens and seeing how my clients go through it through the month of January. So and we'll post some video and feedback on that down the line as well too. So again, I hope you guys had some great holidays so far. And uh, you know, I'm gonna get a week's worth of workouts in in this one session and stuff. And normally I wouldn't promote, you know, an hour and a half, two hour workout, but once in a while as a test, it's a pretty cool thing to do. So anyway, this is Kurt Haas from Hostile Conditioning saying, I'm gonna crush it.
get the shit kicked out of us, or we can fight our way back into the light. We can climb out of hell. One inch at a time. Now, I can't do it for you. I'm too old. <clears throat> I look around, I see these young faces, and I think, I mean, I made every wrong choice a middle-aged man can make. I, uh, I pissed away all my money, <clears throat> believe it or not. I chased off anyone who's ever loved me. And lately, I can't even stand the face I see in the mirror. You know, when you get old in life, things get taken from you. I mean, that's, that's, that's part of life. But you only learn that when you start losing stuff. You find out life's just game of inches. So is football. Because in either game, Life or football, the margin for error is so small. I mean, one. Hey guys, just finished the burpees. I'm at uh, 31.57 into the workout. About to start the 1500 meter on the row. Come back to you as soon as I'm done that. Just finished the 1500 meter row. Finished out of about 41 43 into the whole workout. Did the 1500 meters in 6 minutes and 20 seconds. My forearms are on fire from the kettlebell swings and then the rowing. So these chin ups are going to be interesting. I got 25 chin ups to do. I'm using the green bag because I'm gassed. I'm going to try and get 3 to 5 at a time and get through it. Like I said, I don't want to use so much band that I can pop off 10, 12, 3 to 5 is where I'm at. Grind them out. And hit the next ones as much as, as quick as possible and get through it. Here goes first set. Jack forearms. It's gonna be interesting. Here we go. All right, guys. I'm at the final part. 5K run. I hit it at about 55 minutes, 54 and change. This is 5K, 3.1 miles. Then we'll be done. So, haven't ran in a while, 
not the fastest runner. So, just want to get it done. Whew. All right. I'll check back every once in a while. The toughest part for me is going to be this run. Not so much because it's a run, but because it's on a treadmill. And it's kind of monotonous. So, I've got the old YouTube blaring in the background, some motivational stuff. Looking out the window. I just want to get it done. And just fight the urge to want to get off. When you run outside, the best thing about that, a lot more scenery change. But when you go out a certain distance, you can't quit. You gotta come back, so you're forced to get it done. So we'll see how tough this is mentally. See you guys in a bit. Hey, all right, so level 1.7 miles into my 3.1 mile or 5K run. So I got a little over 2K left to do. It's tough. Right now I'm walking a minute, running three to get through it. I'm about one hour, 23 minutes into the workout. Hopefully be done in the next 20 minutes or so. So if I can get done under two hours, I'll be pretty happy with this. I'll check back at the end. All right, Curadox here, hostile conditioning. Just finished the hostile 2013 challenge. I am crushed. Finished it in a total time of one hour, 43 minutes, 31.2 one hundredths of a second, 0.2 one hundredths of a second. The 5K, 48.04, my best 5K ever. So, pretty pumped. Wanted to get it done under two hours, and I did. Gonna walk around a bit, cool down. Gonna splice all this together and put it together in one video. And uh, get it out there to you guys to challenge yourselves. As you can see, I got a little sweaty. Probably gonna sweat like this, it's uh, 10 after one. Probably gonna sweat like this, uh, 10 after one on the 26th. I'm probably gonna sweat like this until about the 28th. So, good two or three hours of metabolic shift up. Oh, it's awesome. It's a challenge. I knew I could do it. I was hoping to do it under two hours. Like anything else though, with a true, true challenge, there's times in certain parts where I was like, how am I going to get through this? And then just work on what I tell everybody else. Five reps at a time, 10 reps at a time. Treadmill was tough. I, where I would run a minute, jog three minutes, push through that quite often. A couple times went down to one minute walk, two minute jog. Then near the end, in the last 15 minutes, really worked on one and three, one and four. Set myself a last one and five at the end. Ended up getting it for the last eight minutes and uh, ramped the speed up quite a bit to try and break under 48 minutes. I just closed 48.04. I really wanted to see that 47, but uh, man, it's getting to the point where I was leaning on the treadmill and just trying to get through to it. So going much faster wouldn't have made me felt much better because I would have been skipping along that treadmill and my body hanging off the side so I really don't want to come out of it doing it that way so nice thing about a treadmill though is you can control your pace when you're outside hard to control that pace so uh, 4804 I'm very happy I think the last time I ran 5k was uh, oh, I'm gonna say early November and it was like a three and a half 4k so that was good good to see I still have it in me uh, I kind of think push myself feeling a detraining a bit so I'll probably have to get back to running at least once a week again to maintain that and be able to perform a bit better. So overall though, pretty pleased, pretty pumped. I like the number I set and I'm gonna decide based on everyone else's results if we're gonna do this every four to six weeks, see how it goes. Anyway, Kurt Haas, hostile conditioning, hostile 2013 challenge. See what you guys can do, crush it.